Yeah, what's good? I got my brother here with me. Shalom, brother. Shalom, shalom, shalom. shalom. Bro, I'm yeah. not going to take up too much of your time. Um, but I did have one question that I wanted to ask the brother. Why do you think it's important for the diaspora, no matter if we're in Canada or America or the Caribbean or the Netherlands or the UK, we're everywhere. But why is it important for the diaspora to at least, even if they don't move or you know make a move to Africa, will at least start to think about coming to the continent? Well, my name is Ras Nyame. Yeah, from Cape Coast, Ghana. Life talking to you. Yeah, talking about people in a diaspora, you know. Who mama calling, and it's been calling a long time. When you hear the calling of mama, don't harden your ears. You say, hard ears, don't listen. You know, when mama call you, pay attention to bow to mama call, you know. For no place like home. Africa has been calling so long time. And it's time we enlighten our brothers and sisters out there to come back home and strengthen us, you know, and give us the same Hatika love that they took up, they took from us, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when they took us straight to the dungeon, mm. through the door of no return. Now the door has opened us for us to come back home. Door you know, just come home and taste Africa. Africa is home of peace, you know. And the news that they give you out there is no same here, you know. We don't live on trees, we live like you live out there, but the peace that we have here is what we're talking about. You know, come let's build back, bring the knowledge back, you know, and we are here to support you to stage. Just come, come with numbers, you know. This is your home. Remember where you're from. The tree was cut, it wasn't up root. So while the rain fall, it's still growing now, you know. Was yeah, cut. It, it was it cut. It, it was never uprooted, root. Though. You know, so remember you are a tree and you have many branches. Come with your branches. You know, come come and have a piece of place and plant yourself. You know, and grow again. Yeah, man, and grow yeah. again. This is our root. This is where we from. You know, so I'm happy my brother here is just so enjoying his saying here. Yeah. And a lot of diaspora also have been here enjoying their stay, you know. All we're saying is come and try, come and test the water so you yeah. know how deep it is, you know. So come home. Now, where are you from? Yeah, I'm, I'm born in Kumasi. My mom from Cape Coast, my dad from Ashanti region. You know, it's the same family. Same, same family. family, yeah. Same family. Okay, Just okay. come home, you know. Hear the calling of mama. Adding yes. That's right. Come home. Yeah. Come thank home. You, thank you. Bless. So long, Much so love. And respect. Hey, Wait, come here, come you here. You gotta pay yeah, me. Yeah, uh, no. uh, with my money at, okay? <laughs> Where the funds at? This Echo. I got some. Oh, oh, Echo. What's up, Echo? How you doing, brother? What's going on? I got my boy Echo Simpson. I'm just not meeting you, but I'm telling you. I've been here for about two weeks from Chicago. I've seen your video. I'm a subscriber. <laughs> yeah, I'm a subscriber. <laughs> Welcome to Ghana, bro. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Now I got Alita Yasharala. Hi. I don't subscribe to her channel. He don't. Though. He really ain't lying. <laughs> I don't subscribe That's to her channel. That's okay, though, because I'm going to get there. And my friend Echo, he's my mentor yes. with YouTube, so okay. I'm about to kill it. I'm about okay. to kill YouTube in a minute. Yeah, and then guess what? I've been watching your um, Facebook videos. Mm -hmm. You uh, you interviewed one of your friends in the state before you came here. I was oh, watching all that. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, we, so have, you, we, have, we have friends. So you, yeah. you saw some of my stuff. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Wait, so what's your question? Hold on, I got, a, I got a question. I got a question. So, how long have you been here um, in Ghana? I'll invoice you. Um, I've been in Ghana for 10 months. Almost next week will be 10 months. 10 months. What the okay. camera at? Right here or right there? Uh, right there. This one, okay. Yeah. Uh, 10 months. Okay, you coming up on a year. I know, right? And we're going to do a oh, beat for one year. Shoot. You feel me? <laughs> you coming up on a year? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, in your first 10 months, like, I mean, how's it going? Like, I'm loving it. I'm at peace. I have joy. That's what everybody keeps saying. Peace. Yes, very. A lot of shalom. Um, I don't know. I started businesses. I got my residency. 
I, my rent paid for two years. Y'all know how that feel. Man, that's a great feeling. Like if you don't know, to just not have that worry for two for years. Real. And um, I mean, I don't oh, know. Oh, you did I'm two years. It. Yeah, I did two years. I did years. one I year. Choice, I did two years. Shoot. <laughs> I ain't had no oh, choice. That's why. One year. Yeah, but I'm loving it. That's I'm loving up. it. Where we at right now? We're um in Elmina. Um, this is One Africa, which the bass and Mother Africa, and um I guess they're having some like jazz event or something. So I'm trying to sneak in, say my hellos, and all that okay. good stuff. Yeah. Okay, but what? Real talk, because this is my first time here, so I really don't know. What is One Africa? What is it? Um, it's a restaurant uh, for the most part, but it's a um, it's a restaurant, but it's like an event center too. Like they have a lot of like different type of events here, and then it's right next door to Mabel's Table, which is another restaurant. But they also have different type of ceremonies and things like that at uh, Mabel's, Mabel's Table. Mabel's Table. Yeah, Mabel's Table. It's literally down the same road next door. Okay. Yeah, I so between been these, mm -hmm, between these two, all of Elmina is here, one of the other. Okay, and so a lot of diasporans are can be found present at either one of those places. Yeah, they're probably um, especially on Friday nights at Mabel Table. They do like a uh, talk, uh, open dialogue on various topics, and so oh, okay. you will find a lot there on Saturday. Then we have a Shabbat class on Saturday evenings, afternoons rather. Um, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and then just different people. We support everybody. So if you start a new business, you do a, a opening. Yeah. All of us gonna come to it. If you have a new product, we're all gonna buy it. We kind of just support each other more here. It's more unity here, and we're just changing like the vibe and how we love on each other here. So now that's totally different from how you know we really operate in the states. Because yes. In the states, we not really collabing with each other like that. Mm -hmm. But you know, of course, you you know the white man, the Chinese man, the the you know the Latinos, mm -hmm. they all the Jewish people, they all stick together on right. some community type stuff. Mm -hmm. And so we really don't here. see that in in the states. But what I'm I've only been here two weeks, and I'm starting to see that that's how the diasporans are living here. Yeah. Everybody want to collab with each other. Yeah, and everybody I love like, on each other. It's a good vibe. That's why when I first came here the first time, before I could even like really take a seat or sit down, I had to like hug and say hi to like 15 people. It's like it's just normal and that's the way it was if it was the opposite if i was sitting down and someone walked in it's like everybody just kind of got a different vibe here like it's no peace and you realize how much trauma you come from yeah, yeah. like you start to try to correct your correct your <laughs> attitude you start to try to work on your patience and your kindness like it really kind of like checks you and see how bad we've been traumatized from the states yeah yeah that's what i was talking about earlier is like the mental the mental slavery part is damn near worse, than the, worse than the physical. Yeah. I know the physical was would devastate anybody. The physical part would devastate anybody, and it did. It devastated the the Native Americans. You, their numbers are just. But anyway, like you know, we were able to uh, rise up, even rise above, man, four hundred years of this stuff, and we still shining. Figuring out a handshake. I don't know what kind of handshake oh, this is. Okay, okay, okay. Echo Simpson and Alita Yasharala. <laughs> the handshake. <laughs> I was focused. The handshake. They got the handshake right. going. What handshake is that? That's just a friendly handshake. It's just a friendly handshake. Yeah, just a friendly... We'll meet later on. Yeah. Okay. So give, me that, give me that. Give me that handshake. Okay. Well, okay. you know, I'm from the Shot Town, so you know, I love handshake. Okay. So yeah, y'all. Let me tell y'all the real. Okay, take over this channel. This is where y'all need to be at. I don't know if I'm looking at the right camera. You gotta get to Ghana. I don't know what you're waiting on. You're never gonna have enough money. You're never gonna have everything together. Just come on. Go Echo Simpson. You gotta get here, y'all. We living with our feet up. Okay, look. I got the handshake already. Oh, you did, you yeah, did, you did. Okay, I did. Get in there, nigga. Bam.